Wicka, wicka, wicka. Welcome back to another Freestyle Friday. Every single week, we're going to cook it my way. Recipes are free. You know I keep it hot. So grab a pen and paper. I'll show you what I got. What I got. What I got today, guys, is a great recipe. It's inspired by many, many other recipes. But I've got my own little spin on it. It's meat. Meat is one of those things that kind of pull a whole meal together. And before I was vegan, it was kind of like you would build your meal around the meat. Like, hey, what are you having for dinner tonight? I'm having chicken. And then you would might have asparagus and potatoes on the side. So meat was like super, super difficult to give up as a vegan. But this recipe, holy smokers, we're throwing it back to ground beef. Which when I say now in my head, it's like, uh, not down with the ground beef. But today it's a ground beef made from lentils. Boom, hit them with the protein. Walnuts, boom, hit them with the protein. And beans, boom, hit them with the protein. That's it. And then there's some spices in it and the way you prepare it, it's got a crunch factor, it's delicious. You could put it in lasagna, you could put it in literally anything, pasta sauce, whatever you use ground beef for. Today, we're gonna make like taco style lettuce wraps because you know I'm trying to get that fit bod for summer, right? <laughs> I'm almost there, guys, you can see it. Mm, that's a delicious tea. By the way, we got some new sponsors today. <laughs> Just kidding. We're back with Chai Walla. Uh, they're the most reliable sponsor we have. But if you'd like to sponsor the video, get in touch. I'll be happy to take a $10 Target gift card. <laughs> we don't even have Target in Canada. I'm gonna leave that to the side. <laughs> Today we're gonna start with our lentils. So I got two cans of lentils. I'm gonna pop those open. A good can opener will save you a lot of time. We went on about a <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that story. So we're gonna go ahead and drain those lentils. <laughs> okay, we jumped the gun a little bit. We gotta go back to the walnuts. I forgot, the lentils can wait. The walnuts we're gonna toast. Try a toasted nut versus a non... Bro, you moving on? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that truck there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna toast up the walnuts. You know? There we go. How much am I gonna put in there? I'm gonna put in like just over half. Okay, and we're gonna go right into a dry pan. You don't wanna put oil in it. Now because we're only using half the pack of walnuts, you're gonna go ahead and take that top that you threw out in the garbage and put that back on. If you're toasting nuts, goes for any kind of nuts, you wanna keep an eye on them because they all of a sudden just go really quickly. You don't wanna burn them. You just wanna extract some of those oils and you'll get like a deeper range of flavor. So you keep an eye on those. I got those on like a medium heat. We got two cans of lentils. So the first can we're actually gonna bust up. We're gonna make it into kind of a mash. Um, and the second one we're gonna use it as whole whole lentils just to add a little bit of range and texture. Meat is a, really about texture and that's what makes it so difficult. So this is not gonna have the exact same texture as ground beef, but it's gonna be pretty similar. As far as the flavors go, um, we're gonna add some spices and get like a kind of a meaty vibe going. We can go ahead and pulse that up and just turn it into a don't think I've had enough chai tea today. So just give me a second. It's just not professional. I've made two rookie mistakes today. I apologize for that. We don't want to put those in there yet. We got our lentils ripping. See, they're already starting to, to go. These are walnuts, not lentils. Okay, so you're gonna put that into your Vitamix empty because we're gonna pulse that up a little bit. We're gonna bust that down. It's, it's too big right now, so you're just pulsing it. Pulse. Pulse. Perfect. So you got a couple bigger pieces, a couple smaller pieces. That's gonna make a good consistency. Now we're gonna come back to our lentils. Boom. See that? Okay, so that's what we're looking for. A nice paste. That's gonna go right into our bowl as well. Now, if you have a Vitamix, guys, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get one of these. I had like a, you know, a big spatula, I think this is called. Now, there's a bit of a controversy over that, actually, because not everyone thinks this is called a spatula. Some people refer to spatula as this. It's not incorrect, but my mind goes to this when I think spatula. This is maybe called a flipper. Introduce Freestyle Friday's new poll. Is this a spatula? Go ahead and cast your vote. See how nice this gets in the crevices of the Vitamix? You know what, Vitamix, if you guys are watching, you should include one of these with every purchase. 
that would be first class. So that's all mixed in together, beauty. Now we're gonna take our other can of lentils. We're gonna drain that. There's a lot of salt in canned lentils, guys. So, you know, if I had more space, I would definitely be into like bulk purchasing. So you can buy like dried lentils in like a huge pack and they're not that difficult to soak. You can soak them or boil them or whatever. And they taste the same, but this is just so much more convenient for somebody who lives in a tiny house, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna add that right into here as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a half can of the beans. The beans! You could add a half can, but it's like, what are you really gonna do with that other half? So I'm not a fan of wasting. We're gonna go full can. Now we can just mix that all together. The spices that we're gonna add today, we're gonna look for a little bit of oregano. I think it's that one. A little bit of cumin, that one. A little bit of olive oil, that one. And a little bit of salt, and you know I like it hot, so I'm gonna throw some pepper in there. Two, one tablespoon. Uh, maybe one and a half. Oh, that's a lot. That's too much. We're going back in there. That is about, what do you think, guys? Tablespoon? I would say about a tablespoon. Mmm, cumin. Same thing, tablespoon. Salt. You always salt more later. And we're gonna have to mix that. A little bit of olive oil. Extra virgin. Just like my women. <laughs> Your beard bothering you? No, this is a ponder. Hmm, I wish I had more chai tea. <laughs> Basically, that's it, guys. You've got your mix. So now you could actually add that to a beef bolognese. You could, you know, make a. What else do people use ground beef for? <laughs> you keep using the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what people use ground beef for, but like people buy a lot of ground beef. So you could use that for anything. Today, I'm going to show you a uh, taco style wrap. This is like a taco meat kind of vibe. Um, so tuck us all around. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat some of this up. That's cool. Bro, we're trying to film a video here. That's right. Yeah, you keep going, Penske. <laughs> I'll show you what I've done. All I've done is called up Andy. I said, hey, Andy boy, you gotta need romaine. You gotta need romaine without botulism. <coughs> Look for a nice piece here. Keep an eye on your meat. It's starting to brown a little bit on the bottom there. It's a little beanie for my liking, guys, but I'd rather not waste, so we, we went a little hard with the beans. But at home, I, I you know, maybe go half, half a can of beans. Okay, so you're just gonna grab a full, your full pieces of romaine. That looks like a beauty. And who's gonna win today? This guy. <laughs> I know it doesn't look good, but just wait. You just wait till you try this. Blow on it. Who's got the Dyson? <laughs> Yeah, Where? Where's the, this Long one? This one? I don't know, I can't see now your camera. Okay, cameraman just informed me that I got a, a dangler. Oh my god, no! See a dangler. Oh my god! Hey man, you're cooking! Is that good? Were you it's out? way better. Thank you. So we got that just a little bit crispy, it's nice and hot, you want to serve your meat hot. Spread your meat. All I've done here is I just sauteed some peppers. I got a red pepper, a orange pepper, and a red onion. Doesn't that look beautiful? Important when you're cooking your peppers, guys, start with your onion, hit it low and slow, get a little, build up the flavors, let them, get, let them soften up, and then crank it up high when you throw those peps on, and you want a little bit of char. I like my pepper like almost like overcooked. Now, I've also prepared a guacamole style avocado. So this is literally avocado, dill, a little bit of, um, dill pickle liquid and sriracha and I just whip that in the Vitamix. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle that on. You can grab these uh, little squeezy bottles from the dollar store. Just add a little vibe to your dish. If you guys tuned in last week, you would know, no, no, you would know I kept it OG with the cashew cream. I'm just gonna hit that on as well. Dollar store bottles and boom. You've got a deluxe gangster lettuce wrap with Homemade taco meat. What you guys saying about that? Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys find it helpful. 
If you did, let me know. Please tag me in your photos. I'm loving the tags. You guys are inspiring me to make more recipes, to get a little bit more creative in the kitchen. That's all I have for you today. I will see you next time, next week, on an episode of Freestyle Friday. Peace. Probably gonna start with the crunch side. This has got a nice little casing, like a little cocoon. So I feel a little more confident with that at the back. You know that warms my soul, right? <laughs> the cashew cream is absolutely dancing with the avocado. That's a banger. If you guys are allergic to walnuts, you could try and play around with pumpkin seeds. They've got a similar crunch factor. If you're allergic to cashews, you could do like a vegan mayo. Um, or you could just kick it OG with the uh, avocado. A nice option would be a salsa. You could throw a salsa on there. Mm. Diced tomato. If you're the chef, let me know. Mm.